Varlamore is going to be one of, if not, the biggest updates we have ever had in Old School RuneScape. And I want to make sure you have all the info you need to do the activities that you want to do. Starting off with the minimum requirement to get to Valamore, and that is the quest Children of the Sun. It is a very easy intro quest and has no requirements. Now that you have made it to Varlamore, you will be able to do an intermediate quest that is going to really show you around the place and build a better understanding of the region's history. Alright, now let's get into the skills. Hunter is going to be a very popular skill. You will need level 41 to start the Hunter Rumors, and there will be four tiers of Rumors going up to level 91. You're going to need level 46 Hunter in order to access the Hunter Guild. Now I'm going to go over all the Hunter pets and the level requirements in order to hunt them. The Jerboa at level 39, the Finnick Fox at level 57, Sunlight Moths will be available at 65, Moonlight at 75, Sunlight Antelopes at 72, and Moonlight Antelopes at 91, Mountain Salamanders at 79. You're going to need level 50 defense and 60 range to wear the new mixed hide gear. This will give you a defensive advantage when going on hunts of 20, 40, and 60%. I'm guessing you're going to need 60 hunter to use the hunter spear, but I am not sure. It doesn't say anything about the level, so maybe you just need a hunter level. The spear will give you a plus 5% chance to successfully tease certain creatures and other effects. To upgrade the Hunter Crossbow, you will need Sunlight Antelope Horns and the Hunter Crossbow. You will need a range level of 66 and 50 Hunter, and level 74 Fletching to Craft. You can also make the ammo from Sunlight and Moonlight Antelope Horns. Hunter Pouches will require a level of 35 crafting for the small, 50 for the medium, and 65 for the large. Meat Sacks will be 35 for the small and 65 for the large. Agility, you will need level 50 agility to participate in the new Colossal Worm Agility Course minigame thing. This will have you going around picking up termites and turning them into agility XP. Thankfully you don't have to Thankfully if you don't have the level yet, the Colossal Worm will not be coming out with the release of Valamore, so you have some time to get out there and do some agility training. This is gonna be the same place that you were able to get the graceful skin recolor. Mining. We will get a new low intensity mining activity. You will need level 41 to do this. The activity is going to be a mix between Camdozel mining and Tears of Guthix. You will have a random vein that you will be mining and there will be a random waterfall that runs down one of the veins and that will give you a plus 15% increase to your success rate. The new prayer training method is going to be called Offerings to Ralos and you are going to need level 30 prayer for this. You're going to be bringing bones to a temple and blessing them. Then you will be able to chip them into shards. The better bones, the more shards you will get. You're going to fill a pool with wine to be able to successfully offer your bone shards to Rallos. Using Sunfire Splinters, you will get from the Fortis Coliseum. You will be able to charge the wine for more XP. Thieving just got a lot better. Needing 50 thieving, you will be able to travel to this town where you can use the children to distract the citizens, where you can rob them blind. Without distractions, it is not worth pickpocketing them. But with the distractions, you have a 100% success rate, and you will auto pickpocket, which is super crazy awesome. If you want to learn more about all of this, I made a video going over it in depth right here. Moving on to Perilous Moons, there is no set requirements, but I would guess you're going to need base 60s at least, not only in combat, but in skilling methods as well. Maybe a combat level of 75-ish. You will be getting a lot of your resources in the dungeon from your skills to fight the boss. You're going to need 50 defense for all of the Perilous Moon's armor sets, but I'm not going to say that for every single one. For the Blood Ranger set, you're going to need 75 strength for the armor, then you're going to need 70 attack and 75 strength for the weapon. For the Frost Moon set, you're going to need 75 magic for the armor, then you're going to need 70 attack and 75 magic for the weapon. For the Eclipse set, you're going to need 75 range. Remember you're going to need a level of 50 defense for all of that. Fortis Coliseum is going to be the hardest of all the updates. Again, there is no set requirements, but I think you're going to need a base level of like 95s in combat and probably around max gear, if not max gear. Dizana's Quiver will require you to have a level of 75 range and will be the new best in slot range cape in the game. 
Glaives of Ralos will be a throwing weapon that will hit twice and you will need 75 range for this. Sunfire Fanatic Armor will be the new best in slot prayer armor and you will need 40 defense and 60 prayer. And if you want to see how I got rich stealing from these people, click this video right here. Beauty in the stars and breath.